Hey guys, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a while since I actually uploaded a new video, but I'm back and I'm happy to be back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I took this black wig to a warm brown and I think this is perfect for fall. And guys, this is probably the easiest tutorial I've ever done. It literally took me minutes to achieve this. If you're interested in learning, keep watching. Hi. Hi. Alright, so let's get into the wig that I'm using in today's video. It was provided by Recool Hair and this is my first time trying out their pre-made wigs. I've never tried out their bundles or wigs before, so make sure you check out other review videos. Now, I will tell you this right now. This wig, the knots are super, super tiny, but I'm going to bleach them off camera because, you know, I'm a perfectionist and I don't want to see any knots whatsoever and this is a HD lace wig. Now I actually filmed this video a while ago and I wore the hair in its natural state in the black but then I decided probably like two weeks later that I wanted to change the color up for fall because I also want you guys to see how I reapply my wigs without cutting the lace again because I feel like you guys never really see me doing that you always see me wearing a brand new wig in the videos but I want you guys to see how I reapply my wigs so we're gonna move on to bleaching I'm going in with the clear all basic white powder lightener and I'm also gonna go in with the salon care cream developer number 40 and we are gonna be doing a bleach bed today so grab yourself a little bucket I have never done this before this is actually my first time trying this I watch a lot of tutorials on this a lot and I'm like why haven't I tried this yet I saw Larissa Andrea doing it and a few others and shout out to them because they did a great job so I'm trying this out for myself so this is my wig this is literally two weeks later took her off brush her out and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bucket and I'm gonna pour some hot water into the bucket so I boiled my water previously in some videos I have seen people using um, not hot water but I tried the hot water method and then I'm gonna go in with the developer and pour it out honestly I didn't really measure anything out it was just using my eyeballs and figuring it out <laughs> but I'm gonna go in with some bleach powder and I went in with like basically six cups of this at first just to see how it is and then I mix it up together sorry my ISO is a little bit high on the video so it's a little bit bright but but it was kind of hard to film from this angle so I added a bit more of the bleach powder to the bucket and then once again I'm gonna mix it up again and before I mix it I'm gonna mix it up again and then I'm gonna go ahead and just drop my wig in there honestly I was honestly kind of scared because I didn't know how this was gonna turn out now I didn't want it to be super duper blonde I wanted it to be more like a chocolate brown color so I didn't leave it in for very long I left it in for about 10 minutes that was it I took it up and oh my gosh I was literally shocked at the fact that wow this actually worked it actually worked and why haven't I done this before why have I been doing this with my hands so I definitely will be trying to get my wigs a lot lighter but for now I want it brown so this is what she's looking like right now I already have my ball cap on I'm gonna go ahead and pop that wig onto my head and I'm gonna show you guys how I install it when the lace is already cut forgot to mention that while the hair was bleaching in the bleach bath I added aluminum foil to cover the bucket that way the hair would bleach faster and you guys I also forgot to mention that once you wash the bleach out you need to shampoo and condition it really really well I find that it did make the hair feel a little dry when I was washing it out but I added shampoo and I actually deep conditioned the wig so I let it deep condition for about a couple hours before I actually blow dry and style the wig okay so let's move on to the install lace is already cut don't gotta worry about that it's gonna be easy application so I'm applying the glue to my forehead I already applied the skin protector and I'm gonna go in with my rat tail comb now I'm adding two layers of glue some people use a lot more I'm just using two because I don't plan on wearing it very long and you want to wait until that glue dries clear and then you want to put that lace down so again I'm doing the same thing at the sides as well and like I said, guys, it's actually a lot easier to apply the wig a second time when you don't have to worry about the lace anymore. Now, I know a lot of you guys are new to wigs, so I plan on doing a how to properly cut your lace wig video like super detail on how to cut the lace because i know some people still mess up with that and there's different techniques that you can do to cut your lace so yeah i'm just adding a bit more of the glue right at the ear part because i feel like that's the part that always lifts the easiest and i'm doing the same thing on the other side as well apply the lace glue wait for that bad boy to dry clear because if you don't wait for it to dry clear 
your wig's going to look crazy, okay? You're going to be able to see all that glue under that lace. It's going to show up white, and nobody wants that. It just looks, it doesn't look right. So wait for it to dry clear. Be very patient with it. And I'm just going to go in with that rat tail and melt her down. Now, I find that whenever I apply my wigs, I can never find my old baby hairs that I cut. Like, where are they? I can never find them. Now, I just went in with some melting spray, and I'm going to go back in with the blow dry just to hold her down, secure her so she's not lifting. You know, weather is warm right now, so we need to make sure that she is secure and in place. And I stepped off camera, went to go do my makeup because I really wanted to see how this, you know, hair looks. I feel like with no makeup on, she wasn't really giving me life this hair color. I don't know, it feels like it kind of blended in with my skin, if that makes sense. But I did my makeup and I am feeling it. I love it, I think it's perfect for fall. Let me know if you guys try this bleach bat method, are you gonna try it? But yeah, this is pretty much the final look. I'm just getting that wig to lay down flat with my hot comb and going in with some mousse to secure these little baby hairs but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned something from it and i will see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys thank you so much for watching and supporting bye